hello everyone welcome to this video and in this video we are going to see how to add the checkpoint firewall inside the EVNG now I have my EVNG machine running in my VMV workstation it's running on 192.168.1.55 let me quickly log into the uh, EVNG 192.168.1.55 is the last one and then I will okay it didn't prompt me so my username and password is the default one which is admin and eve so let me show you that i don't have the um r81 here it's r80 so i'll not be um using r80 i'll be adding a new one which is r81 so let's go quickly to the how to section of the checkpoint uh, evng for checkpoint so this one uh i will put the links uh, in the description of this video so now you have to go on and download this one um copy and paste it here in the google so that you get this but uh what i would suggest is to um have the latest one so let's go here so you can just go directly go and download the nine uh teen um t392 which is r81 now um i mean i i think r81.10 is has been also released so you will go to the resources downloads and documentation and then you can click anything here so they have renamed it um uh, go to the download section and let's say i want to gear a r81 this one click your version and then you can go for a fresh installation and then you will get this link now i have already downloaded this you just need to click here and it will be downloaded in your downloads folder so if i Go to my downloads folder i should see the r81 this one it's already downloaded so i will use this one and uh, i mean this this process would be same for any version uh, in the future as well so yeah um so let's uh, go and first thing first what you need to do uh, so according to the document it says you have to create an um uh, a directory inside uh, the evng which is opt unit lab add-ons give more two things uh, i mean two ways to do this one is through the gui one is through the cli so let's uh, see this so let's go to the party and i will sss to my um evng which is 192.168.1.55 on port 22 and i'm using ssh right okay done now i will log in using the root credentials which is root and eve by default so i'm inside now what you can do is either you can copy paste this command but uh, I mean, make sure you are not uh, using R80. So this is one thing. Second is you can go to the, uh, so you should have the WinSCP client, uh, which is mandatory, obviously, 192.168.1.55. And you will log in using the root and EVE. So like this, you're also, um, um, I mean, kind of accessing the root uh, partition of EVNG. So I will go into the OPT. Um, unit labs add-ons chemo this is what it says right opt unit lab add-ons in chemo and there you have to create a directory so what you can do is right click and um, new and directory and then name it uh, uh, likewise like r81 cpg uh, so let's um, refresh this and let's hit enter on this this will do the same if i refresh here so you see r81 is not there r80 is there now if i refresh I will see RIT1. So this is the same thing. It's a, a blank, uh, I mean, directory. So you, uh, two methods to do this, right? After that, it says, um, go to this folder. Okay, I went inside, so I can copy this. Let's say like this, uh, copy, paste, and say R81 and tab. So I have to go inside this, or from here, I can go inside this like this. Now then, upload the downloaded, uh, uh, checkpoint um, uh, that image file iso file right so i can do it from here mm, i can directly go to my document um and i have this file i have both 92 and this one i will upload this one so i'll upload it like this drag and drop i'll close this now i'll wait for this um upload to finish uh completed completely um and after that what you need to do is once you have uploaded right then you have to actually rename this file with um, cd rom dot iso this is the new name that you should give this iso instead of checkpoint r81 blah 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 dot iso you should say cd rom dot iso that's it simple as that you can do it from the um i mean command line with the mv then checkpoint and tab you would see the 
uh, obviously inside rdt1 you have the new one that's you say cd rom dot iso once the um, i mean image has been uh, completely copied right so let's wait i will fast forward this process um, and then i will continue once it's done Okay, so now that the uh, file has been copied, so now we have to rename this. Uh, so I'll use this command enter. Sorry, enter. I think I have to refresh it one more time. Good, I will go here and this command no such file exists. Okay, let me just go back and let's. Okay, the file name is wrong actually. Uh, then you say cd rom dot iso enter done now if you go and refresh here it will be renamed to the cd rom dot iso now it's simple um, now you go to the uh, evng um, back and add the node so let's refresh one more time add the node and continue with the um, installation wizard so i'll select the r81 now you can see earlier it was only r80 and remember to change the console to VNC. Uh, that's it, and save it. Now I'll also add a network node, um, this one. Okay, and I'll attach it to the E0, and I will start the node. Uh, now after that, I think we have to create a CD um, hard drive. Just copy this command and paste it, and done. That's it. Now let's go to the checkpoint back. This one, double click open. And yeah, now we have to continue with the wizard. Um, with the app arrow key, go and install on this system. Um, select that and I had it, hit enter. Now, once that is done, um, it will begin the um, installation process. Now you have to follow the um, wizard. So let's do it together. Now the drive you created, right? The virtual drive with the last command, it's loading that drive here. Uh, okay, no hard drives. I would say no. And I would kind of go back and stop it. If you fa face this issue, just delete this. Okay, refresh it. Go to this and hit the command again to create the mm, hard drive. So let's try once again. Refresh it and node and checkpoint. Sorry, node and checkpoint and RET1. And you will go and change it to VNC and save it. Then you will connect it to the network. Save it. E0 start. Double click, run the wizard. Up arrow, hit enter on the install gear on the system. And then wait. Should probably take the um, driver, the hard drive basically. If it doesn't, you have to uh, basically wait until you see the drive. Okay, the installation is starting. Uh, if still it gives the error, we can go and restart the EVNG virtual machine and then again um, hit the command for to clear the virtual hard disk. Uh, I hope it does start now. Yeah, it is. Now hit on OK. Um, hit the tab to move the selection on OK. Hit enter. And then here it says 8 GB um, is the system um, swap root 15. You can keep the default and hit on um, OK. The password, I will just keep admin at 123. Just to be simple, one admin at 123. Tab and OK. And now it's uh, detecting for the interfaces. I'll keep the E0 as the management. I'll keep I hit enter, 
keep the IPS triple one 192 160 one is my router IP gateway hit OK tab OK um, and let the installation complete so this is um, this installation has started so we will wait for this to complete I will uh, fast forward all this process and uh, come back when it's done Okay, now the installation is complete so it's asking for a reboot now let's hit and enter and it will reboot let's go to this and it says create a lab oh i've done this now now uh, so what i do is wait a sec let me see if it's um updated so this is booting up now after that what we have to do is we have to create, um, uh, I mean, um, get all these details like the lab UID node ID and the pod number pod number will be zero uh, let's see how to do it but first let me see if I can access my um, uh, checkpoint node here once it is booted and initialized I have set the um, IP address to triple one remember when I was doing the initial uh, setup so it should be um, accessible on the same um, address now if you don't make this persistence what you have to do is you have to again and again uh, go through the installation steps like the Gaia steps and when whenever you shut down the um, firewall yeah so here it's admin and admin the default uh, username i think it's admin and or or root and admin maybe i had reset it remember as admin one at the rate one two three um yeah so i i changed it while i was doing the initial configs so i can do show interfaces um interfaces all um interface all or interfaces all like this and i can see that my ethernet um, zero is 1.1 and i can log in also as admin and admin at one two three which i did it in the initial so this is how i can log into my um checkpoint using using the https now from here i can either make this as, as as a gateway or as an sms server so now this is where i want to save my image this is the point where i want to save my image inside the event chain. now for that what you have to do is if you go here it says um okay you have to choose choose the lab details that, like the, if you go here you can see the id so let's take a notepad So I'll take the notepad and I'll save this here. One thing is this. Second is what I need is the um, pod. Um, so I'm the admin basically. So I'll have the user as zero if you're using the community edition. If you're not, then you have to go to the management. Now let's go to the uh, command itself. So I need the CD of this. Uh, so I got the uh, UUID this is one need the node node would be um, when you right click on that you will come to know for example i click right click that is one so the node is one zero and one and i've got the so this is the command that we need yeah copy this 
and I have my uh, this one and I'll keep it here now the node is 0 and this is 1 and I'll copy this hold and I'll replace it this one paste it now I'll copy the whole command now before um, doing this I think uh, the node ID can be obtained by right okay I've done this now I'll just shut it down basically I'll go here and let's stop this and then now I have to go to the node ID okay I have to copy this whole uh, look at the installed image and commit your um, changes Okay, I have this. Where is the command? Yeah, I think I have copied this. And I'll go here and I'll go here and enter. Done this. Now I will again do this copy. And I will go to my this one and say commit. Now I have to remove the CD ROM. Um, from the yeah, folder so either i can go to that folder using this command or i can go from here it should have now two um, images there opt unit lab add-ons chemo 81 and this should have two images it's creating right now so we have to wait yeah it's creating so we have to wait for this as you can see the size is increasing the process is uh, running in the background here so we have to wait for this once that is done then you can go and um, go on and delete this uh, cd-rom.iso file okay so let's wait for this process to complete you should see it here okay so this has been done so I'll go on and delete this one or I can right click and delete it's the same thing or I can go here and I can use this command to go to that folder and then I can go and delete that uh, basically 81 this one and uh, then I can go and say rm minus f and cd rom i so like this this will delete the uh, file from the folder so if I refresh uh, I don't have this now once that is done um, then from the option create image from vmdk file so this is for um, this is another one wherein you have to create the uh, image from the vmdk file so we use the iso file and that that is done now when i go to my evng here and i start my image this should be persistent now now if i go here this should not Tell me to kind of uh, what do you say reinstall that it should ask me to log in right so that makes it persistent so that is how you go on and um, configure the uh, RET one in inside your EVNG and also I will share the um, link for the mega drive where I have already um, copied the r81 folder here you can just copy and paste this uh, inside the chemo and this should work perfectly fine because all the process is already done there okay if you are not able to do this uh, follow the steps right so this would be a quick uh, way to download but i wanted to show you the actual process so that in future also when there are more updates you are able to do this so that's all for this video hope you like my video and um, do subscribe to my channel and uh, stay tuned for more um, latest videos okay thank you bye bye see you in my next video